This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm for car accidents and negligent security cases. Call Joe at 239-337-1191. And by Lee Health. Southwest Florida, welcome to another edition of Lee Pitts Live. We're so thrilled to be here at the Florida Health Department here in Lee County. They've been an outstanding uh, host for Lee Pitts Live for the past couple of weeks, and we have one more week that we will be here in these fine accommodations on Pondella in North Fort Myers. We have an outstanding show in store for you today. We'll get a chance to meet the Lee Pitts Live Person of the Year. Uh, Joe North of the North Law Firm. We also get a chance to talk to Tom Donahue. He's the vice president of Hearts and Homes that does a great job with the veterans. And we'll, find, we'll, we'll get to meet Genevieve Banks Giles. She's the coordinator of health, wellness, and nutrition for Artists International. All that's happening on Lee Pitch Live. We'll be right back. Southwest Florida, welcome back to Lee Pitts Live. We're so thrilled to get you here, and uh, we're, we're glad that you stayed with us. Let's bump in our good friend here, Tom Donahue from Hearts and Homes. Tom, welcome to Lee Pitts Live, man. Oh, thank you, Lee. You're the vice president of Hearts and Homes for Veterans. What is Hearts and Homes for Veterans? Hearts and Homes for Veterans is a 501c3 nonprofit that uh, we work with low-income and homeless veterans up to and including 130 percent of the poverty level. Hmm. And how long have you been around? We have been, well, the, the, uh, we've been incorporated since 2013. We've been in our current facility since like February of 2015. Do you take walk-ups? Veterans can just walk up to your facility? Oh, absolutely. That's when a lot of them are walk-ins. Um, you know, we, we've tried, tried to schedule some appointments, but a lot of them just word of mouth has gotten out there. And we have, uh, we have a lot of walk-ins. Where are you located? 2330 Alicia Street in uh, Fort Myers. Uh, 10,000 square foot facility at that location. What does that location consist of? When you come into the location, and we're looking at some video on the screen now, mm -hmm. but when you come in, you have a wide range of services that you offer to the veterans. Oh, yes. We, we, we offer all kinds of different uh, services to the veterans, starting with uh, if, if we have homeless veterans, then we will offer them um, uh, ground mats, uh, knapsacks, uh, backpacks, any of that stuff to make them comfortable in their current environment. Uh, the next group of people we take care of are the ones that uh, you know have just gotten into a house, probably through the VA, uh, and then we have a warehouse full of household goods, cups, glasses, dishes, cooking utensils, just about everything you could. Uh, name to make a, an empty house a home. What's the process? We have your website on the screen and a phone number. What's the process for veterans to tap into your, your services? Well, we, we do require some documentation. Number one would be the DD-214, which would be the discharge papers from the military. Uh, we also would require a VA ID card and that type of thing, you know, just to, to prove the veteran status. And then once we verify that, then we go through an interview process with the veteran to determine what their needs are. Great. Now, what does it do for you personally to know that you have taken your skills and what have we as a retired veteran, I'm assuming you're a retired veteran, mm. and being able to help these other veterans here in Southwest Florida? Well, to me personally, it means, it means a lot. I've been involved with Hearts and Homes now going on four years, and uh, it is a particularly rewarding experience, particularly when you see a, a success story where somebody has been really down on their luck, if you will, and then through the, what help you've been able to issue them, they get back on their feet. And that's our kind of our motto is uh, we're not, we were not designed to be another charity. We are designed to be a hand up, not a hand out. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we hope that uh, when we help a veteran get back uh, stable again, that they'll come back and help another veteran do mm -hmm. the same thing. So you help them with housing, with health care, with dental care, all we, types of things. We are starting a dental program. Uh, we're getting our facility ready for that. We've already outlined our whole pro uh, program, uh, uh, how that's going to work and stuff like that. We are looking out uh, there for any uh, active or retired dentist that would like to come help us. Uh, 
Uh, we'd appreciate any of that kind of Well, help. I think I can help you to uh, get an active or retired dentist. I'm sitting here looking at the CEO, <laughs> Lee Heff. I'm going to introduce you to him as well. Uh, the, um, the future for Hearts and Homes, what are some some things that's going to, that you guys are working on now in terms of your outreach to the community? Well, we, we are uh, in the process of putting in a, uh, a, a commercialized kitchen, a commercial sized kitchen that our, our plan is hopefully starting early next year that we'll be able to start to uh, provide at least lunch services out of our facility at least four days a week. Depending how that goes, we may uh, morph into like breakfast and stuff like that. But that's one of the things. The, uh, we are planning, as we indicated, the dental program. We are also looking at a medical program that we can do at least uh, some of the basic things, blood pressures, you know, that type of thing, mm -hmm. um, that we could do to help the veterans out. So we're doing that type of thing. Well, we're so happy to have your, your hearts and homes in, in, in the community. And I also want people to know that uh, they can make donations to you. You're a nonprofit to help you to continue to work with our veterans who've done such a great job serving this country. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we exist on do donations. That's, uh, that's, we have no paid staff. Everybody's a volunteer. So we, we, we've been very, very fortunate in getting some donations from some companies that have come in and helped us, as well as individuals have donated significant funds to us. So, you know, we're pleased with that and we hope that will continue because it'll help us complete our mission. Well, we're glad we can continue to help you get the word out throughout Southwest Florida. Uh, tell my good friend Don Payton over there, I said hello. I will, I will, Lee. Yeah. And thanks for stopping by and keeping us uh, up to date in this well, holiday thank season. thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll be right back on Lee Pitts Live when we, uh, right here on Fox 4. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching Lee Pitts Live. Of course, I'm Lee Pitts, the host of Lee Pitts Live. We're here at the Holiday Inn Airport in Fort Myers, and I want you to continue to watch Lee Pitts Live on television, on YouTube, and of course, listen to us on radio. But to get all of your shows to come right to you, just click on that subscribe button right there, and Lee Pitts Live will come right to you, your time, your way. That's Lee Pitts Live.